we arrived at the gate and it's locked. So Wade's out there trying to solve this problem, trying to get through. Who knows what happened? Hi, I'm Wade. And I'm Lorraine. And we are on, on the, the off ramp. ramp. In today's episode, you're going to see that we left the Keys and we're heading to Rodman Campground, which is north of Orlando. Good five hour drive. And uh, we stopped at Bucky's, which added to the time. And we got to the gate late. It was locked and the office was closed. And the office was closed. <laughs> How do we get into the campground? Yeah. Stay with us and find out. Uh, in today's video, we also pay a visit to St. Augustine, one of the mm. oldest cities very in nice. uh, the U.S. and uh, their historic district. And we also pay a visit to Castillos de San Marcos, uh, beautiful a beautiful fort. fort. And uh, so stay with us for that as well, too. So what were we supposed to do? Camp campground's closed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Wade. It's not closed. What happened? Uh, I phoned them and there's a gate. They gave me a gate code. For but I want to back up because I don't know which way the gate opens oh, up. Oh, yeah. Good idea. And you phoned them from where? They have a phone out there? No, or? no, from my phone. Oh, how did you know which number to call? Because it says it's posted. Zero two. Oh, okay. Got it. All right. So easy. I didn't see this. So that's it. Wait. Wade's got to put in a code that they gave him. This is after hours. Numbers I had on that post. Oh, easy peasy. <laughs> I thought we were camping at the gate for night. There we go. Off to our campsite, wherever it is. We are in Rodman... What is it called? Rodman Camp? Rodman Campground. Rodman Campground. It's a state park. And these campsites are beautiful. What if you can see through the trees? Alvin and Val's rental about there. This is probably the farthest apart we've camped so far. <laughs> oh no, maybe one of the other ones. And there's Val enjoying the sun. It went down to eight degrees last no, night. No, no, no. Three. Oh, it went down to three degrees last night. I am correct. It was chilly and we didn't mind it. What a contrast from last night when we were like, or the night before when everything was so hot. But, and muggy. And look, these are our chefs. We got scrambled eggs. We're just the worker bees. They're the worker bees. And by all definition, this here is the queen bee. <laughs> Making sure that all things are happening Anything quickly. Anything for you two queens. Well, we have one queen bee. I think, I think that's the main one. There we go. She started it. Yay. She's a good queen bee. Uh oh, are you okay, worker bee? It was one of those drones that stung me. I have oh. my I have my CPR certificate. Can I help you? <laughs> anyway, we're looking for a big ankle. breakfast. Today is a non-driving day, so we can take time for hash browns, eggs, bacon, strawberries, bagels, and <gasps> coffee. And, and Val coffee. did not go to Dunkin' Donuts no. for her coffee. But I'm a reuse person. She, she is. So. So there we go. She is reusing one of her Dunkin' Donuts coffee cups. Yes. All right. Thanks for joining us for breakfast. Nature trail, bike trail, walking time. It's four and a half miles, one distance, going to the locks. And there are tortoises here. And it says, I don't swim. Don't put me in the water. Oh. So we won't. But there are gators here too, So and bears. So I don't think we've ever been on a gator and a bear hike before. Alvin and I are on a gator hunt. <laughs> we were looking for gators, but apparently there wasn't much here, but the signs are there. And there's a canal right next to us, so I guess this is their, their main mode of transportation, their highway. But it is a beautiful day for a walk. It's about 15 or 16 degrees outside right now. And we're just gonna go for a nice stroll. Well, we took the nature walk at Rodman, Rodman Campground, and as we walked across this little bridge, also we heard a big splash in the water. So we're thinking it's either a gator or a big turtle. Some were living in the swamp here as we stand over top of it. If you're noticing the big smile on Wade's face, it's because he went to go pick up quarters for us to do laundry. He and Alvin went. This is me smiling. And this is him. <laughs> this is his happy face. Yeah. But <laughs> that's his, what is that? Hold it up, Wade. Hold it up. 
This is a once every third day treat, but finding the dark Milky Ways is a challenge, so. Milky Way Midnights. Milky Way, may, I can't even say it. Milky, Milky Way, Way Midnights Midnight. is his thing, so. Dark chocolate. Lorraine, Where's your treat, Alvin? What did you buy? Well, I, I love my Pepsi, but I was yeah. just gonna mention that you know, occasionally Wade has an extra Milky Way besides every third day. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Maybe I was trying to be nice. It's just once every three days, but you know, could be more often. After today's 22,000 steps, every he deserves a Milky Way. There we go. What a day we had. And now we get to sit around the fire. Absolutely gorgeous. In February, camping, sitting around a fire. It was wonderful. Clear skies. Yeah. And all we can say is life is good. Life is good. Life is good. <laughs> we are heading down Hippolyta Street in St. Augustine and heading to St. George Street, the main thoroughfare in the historic district. And there's all kinds of shops and stores and uh, I saw one here. We're going to get a little closer called Manly Toys and Hobbies. It's not what it sounds like. It is games and toys. It was closed. Yeah, it was closed for renovation the day that we got there. But they had swords. There are so many great shops here. Wow, there's like restaurants to choose from as well. Live music coming out into the street. People walking up and down, we loved it. Now, St. Augustine was founded in 1565 and it's the oldest continuously occupied settlement of European and African-American origin in the United States. 42 years before English colonized Jamestown and 55 years before the Pilgrims landed in Plymouth Rock, the Spanish established at St. Augustine this nation's first enduring settlement. There. Wade heard that we uh, were supposed to stop at Pizza Time, the best pizza, second best pizza? Second and best pizza all in, North of in North America. Anyway, we've been there, we fed up, we're ready to walk down St. George's again. We've strolled the streets, we've seen the sights, and uh, we're looking at the harbor just outside uh, St. Augustine here. And uh, we're going to head to Castillo de San Marcos, the fort that was built back in the late 1600s. Let's see what history can show us here. Construction of Castillo de San Marcos started in October of 1672. It was built by the Spanish. It took many years to complete. It is 351 years old. While walking around this fort, we are learning a great deal about the advantages of its design, the battles against the British, and the lifestyle of those that lived and were part of the military in this fort. This military outpost was set up to protect the Spanish trade routes and the fleets of treasures moving along the Gulf Stream. Now, the town of St. Augustine was already 107 years old, when the fort was started, and the town itself consisted of many wood and earth forts before this stone fort was built. I have to tell Pastor John this is his new church. <laughs>
have spent about an hour and a half meandering through various sections of the fort and reading the information posted and displayed throughout the fort. This is a worthwhile visit, and it really is bringing us back in time. Visiting the fort really needs to be part of your visit to St. Augustine. Love this. This is the foliage around Rodman Campground. Wade and I have been here for three nights along with the Ginters, and two of our nights are in one spot, and one night was in this spot. So we came in late last night, parked here, and we had all our junk sitting in uh, the Ginter's campsite for now, but now we're packing up and getting ready to go to Juniper Springs. And Elvin's bringing all our stuff from their site to here. We moved, <laughs> tired of our junk, yeah. Oh, well, we took a little ride down from Rodman Campground came to what we think is the Rodman Dam. And uh, looks like there's, we've seen fish, people fishing behind us, there's one across. But on the far side of the dam, on the other side of the dam is a huge lake, it's beautiful. And on the other side of the lake, or of the dam, we have a nice big lake. Alvin is still on a gator hunt. <laughs> Have you find a gator, found your gator yet? Well, I found an old grandpa, but I'm not really wanting to count that. Um, yeah, we'd, we'd, and, uh, we did see an old grandpa. Yeah. We've got to find a gator for Alvin. One more day. Oh, there's another turtle on the there's logway over there, too. Turtles, Well, we hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you have, please take the time to subscribe. Uh, it helps us spread the news of our channel and like the video and also leave a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Yeah, would you travel to St. Augustine? It certainly was one of my favorite stops, as well as seeing the fort. So much history. Would you stop there? And there's a few other things that's going to be happening in the future. Well, you know, we're going to be sticking around. We're going to South Carolina for some reason. It wasn't in our plans. Find out why, stick with us in our future videos because after all, you know us, we, we like to, to hold our plans, plans loosely. loosely.